Hello everyone, yesterday Sonar Island Forest posted a blog of what's to come for the Thomas and Friends reboot next year, and believe me I loathe it. Let's get further detail and start with a premise. The new series will be directed by someone whose last name is Briar. Mr. Briar reveals Mattel approached Novana Studios, the animators of Max and Ruby, a show that I loved, to come on board as a new production partner for the series. I'm pretty sure they only asked them because they didn't find a good CGI animation company, so they turned to the 2D industry. They say they wanted to try something that's different. Here's a quote, I believe, from Briar. We can't stray too far from what's been established. We can do new things with these trains, but can we do that's different while maintaining Thomas, who he is? Mattel said we don't want wheels as hands, but we are allowed to be more cartoony, stretchy, and they can pop the trains off the track and jump to tur turn to 360 degrees, so we're definitely not locked to the track. Already, we're off to a bad start. There's plenty more to cover. I hate the thought of the engines acting like sponges and Play-Doh. That, that does not fit with the theme of the show. Moving on to the settings and characters of the series, Thomas is now not going around the world. He'll stay on Sodor. Don't be happy, though. There's more. It won't just be on Sodor, we know. Here's another quote from Briar. The core group of trains have across more as kids in the new show. The world of the island of Sodor becomes a giant playground for them. As I remember from the original property, Thomas was a coming-of-age character. Not a child, but a graduate of the, at, a, at the train program coming to Train Central to make his mark in the world of trains. He always was trying to prove himself, and in those days, there wasn't as much of a playful nature to Thomas. He was always about towing the line, living up to the other trains. Part of the transition is we're allowed to play a little more. It seems like much a bigger world. The island is a bigger playground, much less involvement in the other trains, more about Thomas's group of friends. Playing. No. Just no. The engines are now going to be a load of childs running around the island with their antics. The engines are less than a hundred year old steamers that have faces, that have faced wars and other atrocities. They should not be acting like little childs. And if you actually watch the old show, you know that there is no train program that Thomas graduates at. And he was the cheekiest of the engines, always playing jokes and teasing them. And by train central, do you mean Knapford? And it even says that only childish, quiet characters will appear in the series. And the mature characters won't, probably won't, other than Gordon. Which is just... Some wider context of Thomas given is that the aim is to give the aesthetic of what Thomas has always been. Okay, I'm just going to pause there. How is stretchy cartoonish behavior and Island of Playgrounds at all similar to the old show? David Mitten's idea of capturing the show was nothing like this. However, the emphasis appears to toe the line of, on the toy line aesthetic. Mattel's brand department have been actively involved with the new updated series. However, from what was said in that in interview section, the new series was afforded the luxury creative freedom with some breaks that provide from the brand team. Mattel's brand is that they're the guardians of Thomas's legacy, so we told them what we can and can't do. With the 3D show, season 13 to 24, despite being 3D, who would have guessed? The models were pretty much based on the models from the, in the classic show. We had much more freedom to deviate from that. First of all, Mattel said, we want this to be a remake. We want something new. Not us, we want the original stuff. So we're unshackled from the original. We could do our own look within the reason. Right off the bat, Mattel was thrilled because we have them this really appealing, fun, energetic design. It means this, and I'm not surprised. As the show went on and new characters came along, we pushed a little too far in some places. You think? You really think? And the brand would come say, Look, here's the 30-year-old model pack with pictures, designs, and angles of the different characters. And we needed to pull back a bit and try to make sure we stay true to the brand. Which you did poorly of. You basically didn't do anything to stay true to the brand. Sometimes we'd pitch things and they'd say, That wouldn't work on a toy track. So we wouldn't do it. We were given the, we were really given the freedom to try something new. Do what you want and we'll tell you if you're going too far. Not everything in the show needs to be made into a toy you know. And even if Mattel was told they were going too far, they wouldn't care or listen because it's Mattel. 
As I've mentioned earlier, the new series is grounded on the island of Sodor, Thomas's home for the last 75 years. Mr. Briar went on to give us a deeper insight into what we can expect from this bigger world that we will see in the 2D version of the show. Besides the trains themselves, stop calling them trains, they're locomotives. The island of Sodor plays a huge part, and I can't speak highly enough of our design team has come up with this beautiful environment. I bet it's very cheap and ugly. Sodor was originally off the coast of England, but that's not really part important, not part of the story. It's an island. It's separate from everything else. So long, Vickerstown Bridge. Every town, every city. A city? A city on Sodor? It's not time for that yet. Unless I'm thinking too moderately. It's connected by rail. Rail is the primary source of transportation. The island is very diverse. You have desert canyons. A desert on Sodor? How does that work? Like, Lush countryside, seaside towns, industrial mining towns. So, you're getting rid of the old island of Sodor and creating a completely new one? Like, why? What's, why is that necessary? From what I can interpret here, Sodor is going to become in every island from here on out, abandoning the quintessential British tone and setting which has been the aesthetic of the series since 1945. So you're getting rid of everyone on that island's nationality and heritage? That's so cruel and just betrays she. In the art direction, that's really where we've been able to push in new directions. Into a mine, or a ditch, or a stage manager's house. The island is a playground for these kids. Gordon! Diesel Ted's not letting us play on the Steamworks. It's a real toony show. Lots of stretch and squash. Oh, Mattel gets stretched and squash. Not Tex Avery style, but the trains are able to hop up and jump and spin, just like Audrey in his grave. I think people are going to love it because it's a brand new and not that much different from it, from what people love. It's the complete opposite of the same as the old show. It's got nothing in common other than the names of the locations and characters. And when you say people will love, I know you're going, you're excluding fans and autistic children. But since nobody has seen anything yet, I'm willing to place a, a bet that nobody will like it. Only kids that that get introduced to that series that way. My God, your Mattel is so exclusive. Okay, now let's move on to the animations productions. When he was asked about boarding in anticipation of Mattel's boundaries over whether or not something is improved by the brand team, Mr. Breyer said this. No. We have two versions of the same model. The show needs to look like it's fully 2D. It looks like a traditional show rather than older Flash shows. They just animate everything 2D. As you said, these are complicated rigs. I animate when Harmony was brand new and, and would rig things themselves, but these 2D rigs are getting close to 3D techni technicality and difficulty right level right now. We have these amazing rig riggers who do amazing things. If it's so difficult, why bother keeping the show going? At the same time, because of that, we have a lot of young 2D animators who don't come from a drawing background or design background. You're hiring people that have no qualities of the job you're hiring for, that's so stupid yet funny, but have a strong sense of acting, timing, and weight. And because of these new rigs becoming so capable in 2D, we have a lot of new animators coming up that are animating in 2D, but don't have a strong drawing background, but have a great sense of acting, timing, or weight, and so they're doing a fantastic job. You just repeated your reason for hiring amateurs. Talk about sloppy work. But when they're coming up to a difficult pose, when they're struggling to make the model hit the pose the shot needs, we're trying to encourage them to do it. That sounds like a bad workplace. So on top of the animation team, we have an amazing posing team who create pose for the animation team. So we have a wide skill set of animators, some who will draw more than others. But in the end, you're not going to tell as a viewer. It sounds like they're struggling and you won't give them a break. Sooner or later, they might burn out. Next, he basically says that the only reason Nevada is animated because it's easy to get in touch with them. That sounds very lazy. I'm gonna sum up the human side in the show. There will be humans, but only in the background. Sir Topham Hat is the only human, basically. 
but he has no authority now. He's just there for comedy relief, so I'm calling him the Fat Clown Troller. And he's rarely in the show now, so bummer. That means no workers for the railways. Mr. Breyer said that he's happy that no one's driving, and that if mine carts are heading towards an engine, they don't need a driver to flip them, which is just referencing running runaway truck. And from that sentence, I don't think this guy knows how, to ra how a railway works. Topham isn't even going to be British, and there might not be any British voices. For train behavior, Mr. Breyer says that the show will be about action and fun, which is something I and a certain group of kids wouldn't appreciate. There will be no narrator, and Gordon's the only engine that might have some sense since they want him as a father figure. No confirmed dates have been revealed for the series, but it is going to be premiered in 2021. One last thing, though. We talked earlier about wanting the show to look like a traditional show, so we put a sizzle together right before the animation launched. Can't wait to boo at it. For Mattel's purposes, this is the first time I saw a di 2D digital show and couldn't tell that was done in 2D. I thought you just said that the animator's job is making it as, as 2D as possible. That speaks for the talent of the team, the supposed st same team that I've never animated before. Despite having that, that cylinder of their head cylinder, they can move it around. And it's so expressive. I can't wait for people to see it. I can wait for a cylinder being used as a hand. My thoughts on this are just that they once again are lying about staying true to the band brand. They're just saying that it is, but at the same time, saying it's the complete opposite. How does that make sense? Mr. Breyer does not know who Thomas is, and nobody's going to tell him to see an episode of any of the older seasons to prove him wrong. I feel like the animators won't enjoy making this because it seems like they are in a rough working conditions and hired for a job they have, haven't any knowledge of. So it now becoming a separate island and removing its British heritage just seems like a stupid idea. So what if everyone's British? It's not a big deal. And prioritize them first, not the US dub. It might be apparent that the UK dub will not be in this season too, since there was no info about that. Sharon Miller wrote the location she came up with better than you ever did. But here it just seems like a whole new world with jungle, the desert, the big cities. So Odor isn't ready for cities, like big cities yet. I also loathe that most of it's going to be a cartoon with sponge-like behavior and bouncy bodies and energetic movements. Kids used to love Thomas One Reason because it's calming and beautiful and just peaceful. One of the most exciting stories were good for the quiet, for still good for the quiet kids. Mattel says they want to expand to a larger audience, but they, ex but they don't experiment with tone. They try to make the show more bouncy, and which instead, dr f like drives away their biggest audience instead of attracting them. And they just don't realize nor nor care. It's just go to the moon autism to them. That's what they're saying. Go to the moon autism. I feel so offended and hurt since I'm autistic. And I didn't see as much happening in the, in the new show as younger children did. But what I read on some tweets are so heartbreaking I cried to sleep. And because of that, I'm no longer buying anything from from them. After the kids watch the new show, what will they think? Are they going to cry and turn off their TVs? Their parents going to complain to Mattel about it too? Are they going to actually love it? Like, that's no possible. From what I can tell, this would be very sad. Then what show will they relate to? Paw Patrol? That's saying something since nowadays they competed with Thomas a lot now. And now they have a new train show, Mighty Express, which just so happened to be to have been made right after Thomas right after Thomas was announced to go on a hiatus. Gee, I wonder if that's a coincidence. Thomas and Paw Patrol compete with each other for the attention of their artistic audience. I think classic Thomas would be better for the little kitties, but I would think all of them will move on to Paw Patrol. Even Chuggington has better class than this. Well, I guess it's time to lose hope. We gave Mattel so many chances to do better, but they just won't take it. I think it's time we should stick to fan content from people who actually know how to write a good story. Sorry this video seems a bit rushed. This, is what, this was a pain to edit and I hate iMovie now. I tried to get this as soon as possible here ASAP. So I guess I'll just end this rant here. Hope you all enjoy and I'll see you later. Bye.